the fundamentals of playing with feeling. It's a simple concept, but if you really work this particular concept, these particular chords and these movements, it's definitely going to add to your playing. This is just a specific thing that I want you to do that you can add to your toolbox. It's really important that you do this um, because it definitely helps. You hear players like John Mayer that kind of use this kind of style. There are a lot of soulful players like use more specifically blues, but R&B is rhythm and blues, so it definitely pairs well with the R&B style. It's just a real simple move. We're gonna be in the key of E flat. We're gonna talk about slides. We're gonna talk about the basic chord structures of just using that, that four and then at five. I want you to focus in on that. So just take a listen to this song and then we're gonna dive in. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use this concept, okay? Here we go. That two string slide. So in that concept, what I'm thinking about is the double stop movements, right? And then also the slide. That movement really quickly. That old school kind of quartetti kind of <laughs> major chord. Then we're taking this the B string and the E string harmonies and I'm palm muting just so I get that kind of technique and that that, that dynamic so I said let me just without palm muting palm mute it now I'm gonna do my five chord it's like I'm making my four but I'm taking my thumb grabbing that bass note and my pinky's on the B string in the same fret. Again, here we go. A double stop movement. That same movement, same pickup. So instead of me just playing these notes, I'm also incorporating this note. That F in there. hammering on in that high E string. That whole attitude. A John Mayer does that double stop movement a lot of times in his solo. A lot of blues players do that movement, but this is really going to help with your foundation of you trying to play with feeling and more attitude. That vibrato, shaking those strings. So almost kind of got a, a let's get it on kind of vibe, kind of feel to it. It's really kind of a, a quick pickup. There's several ways that you can get into it. You can kind of like arpeggiate it. Or you can just strike the chord. A lot of different ways that you can kind of even facilitate that double stop movement. It doesn't have to be. It can. And all I'm doing when I'm doing that movement, I'm just going down the notes. But I'm playing two strings at the same time. timing thing too. You want to make sure that you're grabbing in the right time. So you want to be really sensitive and mindful of that, trying to grab it in the right time. If I'm doing it all the way down there, then I'm not going to play the chord. You can land on that note. 
you just want to make sure you're trying to grab it in the right time. So if we want to just practice, we can slow it down. saucy with it you can get real soulful with it it's a great concept you work on this it's really going to add a lot of definition and more texture to your playing especially when you're talking about playing with feeling playing with emotion playing with that soulfulness this is how you do it um you work on this example it's really going to end this this whole thing that we just did that was in um, e flat we can modulate it to any key we can go to c and do the same thing <laughs> Do another song, let's get it on. You can go to D. Let's get it on. It's a real cool way that you can see that we can get into a lot of different kind of vibes. Practice this particular technique is going to make a world of difference in your playing.